ACIM Insights Lesson 224 God is my Father and He loves His Son. Since God is love and He is my Father, my true identity must be love. Love is God's gift to me. By its nature, love must be extended to be itself. That is why my true identity is the gift I give to the world. Only love is real, so love is, in truth, all there is to give. Love is the light of heaven and the light of the world. My job is to see that light of love in everyone, everywhere, all the time. The light of love is all there really is to see. If I think I see something else, I am hallucinating or projecting something that is not there. The moment I recognize I am seeing anything other than love, it is time for me to turn to the Holy Spirit and give this false perception to Him. That is the essence of daily practice that leads me home to heaven, where I am perfectly safe, at peace and in joy. If I am seeing anyone as threatening to me or disturbing to me in any way, I need to remind myself that I must be seeing wrongly. For love does not attack by seeing separation. Love only blesses by knowing oneness. The true identity of everyone is love, so the truth of everyone only gives the blessing of love. In this dream, it appears that there are alternatives to love, but this cannot be in truth. As it says in the introduction to the course, nothing real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. Only love is real. That is my true identity, alone with everyone's. Holy Spirit, help me today to look past the false masks to the true identity in everyone, that I may recognize my own. In this lesson, Jesus reminds me of my true identity, which I have forgotten. He encourages me to accept my true identity and let the false identity go. Today is a practice in accepting my true identity. Today is a practice in remembering that I am still love as God created me. Today is a day of practice in not making the false identity, a body with a separate mind, real. Today is a day of practice in being willing to watch the thoughts I am believing in and, if it does not reflect my true identity, to take it to the Holy Spirit to be undone. Today is a day of accepting my source instead of rejecting it. God is my source. God is love and therefore love is my source. I am an extension of love and so I cannot be anything other than love. Anything else is an hallucination. Holy Spirit, help me rest today in the remembrance that I am only love. Let me be willing to remember the truth. Let me be willing to remember love and that only love is real. This is a good lesson for me today. Yesterday someone offered me some guilt and I accepted it. The guilt made me feel like a bad person. If I feel guilty, obviously it is because I did something wrong. Since there is nothing I can do to fix this situation, I started feeling anxious and frustrated. This such a typical ego maneuver putting me in a box where there seems to be no way out. Thank God I know now that I can take this to Holy Spirit and ask Him for a different way to see it. When I allow my mind to get so cluttered with these ego thoughts of guilt, fear and blame that I can't see past them, I completely lose sight of the fact that there could be another way to see it. If instead I can focus on truth, like today's lesson, God is my Father and He loves His Son, then I can relax and let Holy Spirit guide me out of the scary place I put myself. I look back at it from the safety of God's love, and I laugh that I was frightened by something so insubstantial. <laughs>